Hi, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the modal analysis of a knuckle joint and how to check the mass participation factor in modal analysis. And what are the output parameters we need to request for the normal modal, and normal modal analysis. First, let us create a material Young modulus new poison and density create a component named knuckle copy this name knuckle based on the property change the color to blue create property type 3d card p sorted and material steel create return click on the property knuckle and create now create a tetra mesh for this knuckle joint go to 3d panel tetra mesh volume pet volume tetra select this solid keep the element size for unmesh it takes a couple of minutes to generate a tetra mesh yeah it's generated now create one more component for rigid create node by faces create. I have created only one rigid uh, for to show the purpose of how mass participation is fair is participating in the knuckle joint usually for knuckle joint we know we have three four boundary conditions for a demo purpose I am giving Bond reconnections at only one region. Create a SPC. No card image. Create analysis constraints. Create one more card EIGRL. Region value Lankos method EIGRL means. Create edit, give number of modes 1500 and create a load step, normal modes, SPC, method is structural that is EIGRL, create and analysis control cards, next global output request. Check on the displacement format is H3D, H3D is a binary format and element of strain energy and elemental kinetic energy. Oh. Yes, EK here format H3D format h3d return and next in param card we need to check the effective mass card effective mass toggle to s now export this file export solver normal modes yeah it's finished open the optistic server select the input file and run it takes a couple of minutes to run this simulation let's wait And open the running directory here we have a lot of rs files these are scratch files this is backend this is running the calculations once the calculation is done that rs file will automatically delete here once open the out file in the out file it will clearly mention 
what is in the input file see output file prefix is normal modes number of grids around 14,000 and the number of elements is 66,000 number of rigid elements is 1 number of rigid element constraints num total degrees of freedom total number of zero mass matrix and type of elements everything will mention here come down here this is the frequency why it is giving minus 3 here it is almost 0 the reason is we will check we will open the file come to model spc references click the load here here see we have not selected the degree of freedom one that is the reason in one direction first mode it shows zero frequency it's a rigid mode this is the model participation model participation factor ratios model participation factors ratios and model effective ratios and model effective mass for subcase actually we will check the model effective mass fraction for subcase see we have not constrained the model in the x direction so it is showing 1 1 means it is 100% of masses participating in x direction in the mode 2 see 0.6% of masses participating in y direction and 64 percentage of masses participation in z direction so we will check in the results file in that in the second mode the component will deflect mostly in the z direction let's open the output file see the component is moving along z axis x axis component is moving along x axis it means 100% of mass is participating in first mode this is a rigid mode let us check the second mode this is deflecting in y direction z direction it is deflecting in this is a z axis blue color so 64 percent of mass is participating in z direction and 16 percentage of mass is participating about rotation about y axis green color is the y axis 16 percent of mass is participating about y axis in this way we can check and coming to the elemental kinetic energy see the kinetic energy is more near the more deflecting region And the elemental strain energy why elemental kinetic energy is we are checking because this is a normal mode it doesn't give the exact values so for a to understand purpose we will call the elemental kinetic energy so we can check how much kinetic energy is there in the body and where it is in the elemental strain energy due to that particular mode where more strain energy is developed strain energy is developed near the constant location usually and the kinetic energy will become more or the more vibrating or free 
region freely vibrating region so this is the way we will check the mass participation factors for the model analysis we will call this in the param card effective mass in the param card effective mass effective mass s yes. 